What are the three greatest of all virtues? Humility, humility, humility. Without humility, there is no other virtue. It's all a waste of time. And yet humility is one of those things, being the greatest of virtues, that can be the hardest to attain because it seems the most mysterious. It's hard to pin down, how do I act humble? Do we put Christ first and count self as the last and the least in our attitude, and in our actions? Are we unabashed and unapologetic Catholics? Look around you. When you make your examination of conscience, expand it a bit, if you will, to all of your life. Why not? You may die tonight. Watch what you have watched today. Watch the way you live. What's on the walls or not of your home? How do you dress? What thoughts and opinions do you keep in your head? How do you form your ideas and resolves? And what is the greatest love in your heart today? Are you Catholics? Openly so? Or are you of the diaspora? Catholics living in disguise someplace in a cul-de-sac in suburban America? No, no, let us say it. We Catholics could never be humble enough because the truth of the matter is we're not much of Catholics. If we may not aspire to the glory of the angels in their pure service of God, let us at least ask them for their protection. And if we don't feel worthy to accompany Jesus and Mary, let us at least ask St. Joseph, St. Joseph the silent saint, the St. Joseph the loyal saint, for a little bit of his spirit. He's the protector of the church. May he protect us who really aren't so worthy to be its last members. I will not serve. That is Satan's cry. And all those who reject God, I will not serve. That is our cry. Every time we sin, even if we don't use those words, I will not serve. I will not humble myself. I will not be lowly. I will not be poor. I will not suffer. You should find in that repetition of sin not only your own faults, your own tendencies to sin, but also your own inconstancy and weakness. Find the extent of your own self-love and the frailty of your love of God. Pray to God that He send you the grace of humility and the concomitant humiliations so that you gain if in a small way, the perfection of humility and that we be attracted to the last place in all things, not out of a petty modesty, but in the way that a stone is pulled to the ground by gravity, convinced by the grace of God through our weakness and tendency to sin, that we are the worst of all men. St. Paul said, Christ Jesus came into this world to save sinners, of whom I am the chief.